Hello, Nas lovers. You may have realized that now there is an app on QNAP Club um, listings uh, called Chia. So what would you, would you expect is that there is going to be a single click app which you click and download, install and run it. And then you got your wallets, you got your mining, plotting things and stuff like that. But it's not uh, that straightforward. For those who don't know what Chia is, that's a new concept of uh, cryptocurrency. As you know, Bitcoin is um, used for calculations and mining the coin, whereas Chia is slightly different. It's more focused on a storage space available to you. So you can actually do plotting and uh, quicker the drives, quicker you can put that data on this uh, on these drives. So therefore, NVMe drives are very popular nowadays and the prices are going up as well. And those who are um, in uh, gaming, they probably already know how annoying that can be that uh, prices of a graphics card has gone up. And in this case with Chia, the price of hard drives are going up or SSD drives. But um, what we're going to do now, we're going to just go through the things and, and show what it is, what this app is, how to set it up. And um, is there even point doing that? So uh, you can go to beginner's guide on GitHub uh, and then read more about this. But all, all it is, it consists of three things like node. Uh, this syncs your computer with a blockchain. So if you've got um, a app on a PC, your NAS is going to be a node. You connect to it and all coins are falling into your um, wallet on, on your desktop. Then there is a farmer. The farmer sends out proof requests to harvester and harvester checks your plots to see if they satisfy, satisfy the proof. So if you have the best proof, you win coins. Sounds like lottery, isn't it? <laughs> Not a good start. So what we do first, we just go to uh, QNAP uh, QTS operating system and uh, go to and, in, and use install manually option and um, choose the file you downloaded earlier on on this um, QNAP Cloud. So you click download, it's going to be in your downloads, click browse, uh, choose that uh, QPKG uh, thing and it's going to be installed. That, that's it. <laughs> From that point on you get your app and uh, technically you think like, okay, now I'm going to just click open. I'm going to use that app uh, as you would expect on the desktop. As you see here, we'll come up as an app, you're having plots, farming, you can do trading and all these things. But no, what has happened here is that you have created like a virtual variable on your Linux. As you know, your QNAP actually runs uh, on a Linux in the back end, but you just don't see it because there is operating system QTS installed on top of this uh, backbone, just like Synology as well. But what we do afterwards when we have installed this, we will need to actually go into a backend of a NAS, which is quite dangerous. <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing, you shouldn't be doing that because you can mess things up really. So it's basically all it is, is simplifying the commands on, uh, on, on this backend. So you will need something called uh, putty. You will need your IP address of your QNAP and you log, log in, um, whatever username and password you got. Enter. Uh, if you need to get the password right, then you'll get in. Um, quit the main menu, go to the command line, and then you can just type in chia and see the commands you got. You can do so. You can do configuring, farming, init initialization, and so on. So first, you'll need to initialize. So that means that uh, if you have already key generated and you want to merge all these things together, then you'd use that uh, key if you want to. Uh, start a new process, then um, you create a new key, a private key, you create a wallet, uh, pl uh, do the fa uh, plotting, set up the plotting, and, and you're ready to go. Uh, you can also go to Craig's video, he's going to guide you through how to do these things, uh, all the commands you will need to run. He did that on a um, Docker, that's a slightly different version of doing this, it's like a mini virtual machine. In our case, we are going one step backwards actually and uh, um, sending commands directly to Linux rather than a little virtual machine on your 
NAS, which means in technically it should be faster uh, because there is no overheads. There is there's no other additional layers uh, of software added to this whole mining process. So, but yeah, you go check out this video. That's a really helpful video. It's going to teach you how to how to run these commands. Otherwise, you can also go to Quick Start Guide and uh, see the commands you can run, and they're all going to be explained. Uh, I hope this was um, helping you out, understanding what this new app is, and uh, is there a point having it? Um, if you want to have, have my opinion about is there a point or not, then uh, uh, I would say it's probably not <laughs> because Bitcoin is different. With Bitcoin, you can actually go to shops and buy things. With Chia, it's just um, another currency, really. Yes, the idea behind it is really good. Uh, you are able to send coins and, and get those coins back, but I don't know anyone who is going to sell you anything using these coins as today, where I can see big shops like Scan, eBay, where you can actually, or even Tesla, you can purchase something using Bitcoin. So uh, is there a future in this? Unlikely. But um, as you know, the value of this cryptocurrency is going up. So people will take advantage of this, just like in the stock market, things are going up because of Tesla, everyone's investing, everyone's marketing thing, uh, putting money in, money is going up. Those who are smart, they'll pull the money out before others and uh, the rest will lose. I hope this was helpful. <laughs> Sorry for pessimism. Uh, if you got any questions, you can always go to NAS Compares, fill the form, send the email to info NAS Compares, and uh, we're going to get back to you with a video version of your answer. So I hope this was helpful. Cheerio.